Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading and we're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection at this time and how you feel about each other, what, what are your energies towards each other, you know, regarding the connection. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation and leave the rest. You can check out your other placements, your sun, or I guess I should say your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. I have all of the playlists linked in the description box uh, for each sign. So let's jump right in for Virgo spirit. Spirit angels, guides. What does Virgo need to know regarding love? What do we need to know about Virgo and their person? What are they thinking, feeling about each other? What are the energies between them? What do we need to know for Virgo? This reading will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. What do we need to know for Virgo regarding their connection with this other person? Okay, so I'm gonna cut the deck. Let's see what we get for you, Virgo. I'm gonna start with what's going on in your connection, um, but I am gonna lay out all the cards in the spread. So you're gonna be on this side, Virgo, and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Currently in your connection, we have the Seven of Pentacles Reverse, Eight of Pentacles Reverse, and the Fool. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I'll flip these energies over as I read um, each of your energies separately. Okay, so interesting. I have the Seven of Pentacles Reverse and the Eight of Pentacles Reverse. Two cards about something that's not really working out. Bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Swords Reverse. So this is someone either finally making a decision that was very difficult to make or refusing to make a decision. It's too hard. We'll have to see if this comes back up. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hang on one second. So the Fool is here, and the Fool is a card about new beginnings, being free of something, willing to take a risk, a leap of faith, to try something new, go down a different path, etc. Spirit, can we get some clarity for these energies? So I'm interpreting this as maybe something hasn't been working out in, in your connection or someone's not willing to put in the effort or someone, one of you at least, feels that this was a waste of their time or effort um, and maybe they are ready to be free of this because something's not working out here. Either someone's not able to put in the effort required or they don't want to. They're not willing to put in the effort required. Regardless, the outcome is the same. Something's not working out. Someone feels like they invested in the wrong thing or like they're waiting for something that will never arrive. That's kind of what the Seven of Pentacles reverse means. So let's see if we can get some clarity on these energies for Virgo Spirit. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles reverse and Eight of Pentacles reverse. What's this? regarding for Virgo. What are these two energies all about? Nine of Wands, someone's tired. Someone's tired, someone's finding it really hard to trust, maybe feeling a bit defensive, on guard, on edge is what I heard. Someone's on edge. And it's because of what's happening. And now I say someone because this is what's going on in your connection and both of your energies are there. So it could be you or it could be your person or a mix of both here. Take it as it resonates for you. But someone's tired. Um, maybe they're tired of waiting for something to improve or tired of waiting for something to occur, you know, at all, like happen at all. Can we get some more um, clarity here for the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, another card about freedom, independence, um, you know, I'm thinking this looks a lot like the Fool to me. Very similar energy I'm picking up here. So it's almost like someone's wondering if they should just be free of all of this. Maybe this is someone considering being single. 
Let's see. What's this fool about? Why is the fool here? Wow, we have the six of pentacles, the fool again, and the empress. So with the fool and the empress, I get someone that wants to grow, plant seeds somewhere else. The empress, they are able to manifest and grow and expand. Um, whatever they touch turns to gold. So I'm getting with the fool here. It's like almost like someone wants to give to the right, you know, with the six of pentacles. And even, you know, this card, the six of pentacles are kind of like giving a person coins. And I'm almost picturing someone like planting seeds, right? Like throwing seeds around. Um, so this could be that someone's considering a new beginning somewhere else, having a having a better outcome somewhere else because something clearly isn't working out here. And this is kind of, I don't know, like an ongoing theme for Virgos, at least in, on my channel. It's almost like Virgos have been going through a lot of difficulty and it's for a reason. There's, it's, it's not just happening just because. There's, there's it's almost like Virgos are, our, are on a uh, spiritual journey of some sort. And it's regarding love and partnerships. And there's this common theme of freedom and new beginnings. It's, it, just, it just keeps popping up for Virgos. So let's see what else we get. Um, I'm going to start looking at each of your energies here, starting with you, Virgo. Can we get some insight into the energies between Virgo and this other person? What do we need to know about the uh, energies between Virgo and this other person. Tell me about Virgo's energies. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Virgo's energies? What do we need to know? Mirrored souls. You mirror each other in this special connection. Soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. Okay. Tell me about Virgo's person. What do we need to know about their energies? What do we need to know about this other person's energies this time? Divine timing, trust in divine timing. So something here could be happening. This could be a, a situation where there's soulmates involved, twin flames, or if you believe in that, a reunion of some sort, just because I have, you have soulmate, they have like destiny, divine timing. What else do we need to know for Virgo? What else do we need to know for Virgo? What do we need to know? For Virgo, what do we need to know? Tell me about Virgo's energies. Get some more insight, please, on Virgo's energies. Fire Ant. Fire ants kind of like the five of wands. There is aggression, conflict, uh, hot tempers. Tell me about Virgo's person. The whale. The whale is kind of um an energy about someone that has a lot of depth. Um, over time, they've experienced different things, learned different lessons. So this is, this is kind of interesting to me. I don't feel like this person is someone you are currently with. If you are already in a connection, Virgo, I don't think this person is who you're with right now. It's almost like this is your future partner or someone else you're thinking of. Or maybe they're thinking of you, but I don't think you're together because there's a, a, a theme here of being free of something that's not working out. So I almost get the sense that you or your person are already in 
a situation that you not you don't want to keep being in that situation, right? <coughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like you might be having difficulties, you know, in your personal life, but I just don't see it coming from this person. Like, I don't see this person being involved. Let's see what your energies are here. Ten of Pentacles reverse. You know, typically this is a card for broken commitments or there's a lack of stability at home or a lack of stability with finances. There's the Nine of Pentacles reverse. So that's very interesting. Usually I think of someone that's attached. Instead of being free and independent, they're attached. Instead of being financially independent, they're financially dependent. And then I have the King of Swords reverse. So this is typically a card about, you know, a difficult person to deal with, um, or it could be a card about deception, we'll see. Can I get some more insight, please? For Virgo. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Virgo? Can I get some insight into this Ten of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Knight of Wands. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? I feel like these two are connected. The Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? The devil. Yeah, there's an attachment here. You have some sort of an attachment, Capricorn energy. You could be attached to someone or something financially or because of convenience or because there are entanglements of some sort. I, with this Knight of Wands, I almost get the sense of someone wanting to run away. <laughs> um, yeah. And then the bottom of the deck, I have the Three of Cups. So this is why I feel like there's third party energy here in some way. Almost like this is someone that you're not with. Like there's, they're, they're doing their own thing, basically. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reverse? Ace of Swords. Communication, clarity, the truth. It could be that you are um, having conversations with a difficult person or trying to get to the truth of something. Can I get some more, please, for this King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reverse? King of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Yeah, okay, so with the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, I'm getting that you have your eye on something that you want or you desire something. You might be desiring clarity, a new opportunity. I have the Knight of Pentacles here. What's behind that? The Emperor, interesting, the Emperor and the Empress. Aries energy with the Emperor. Another card about doing. The Emperor is a doer. So is the Queen of Wands. So is the King of Wands. They tend to take action. So I don't know. I feel like you are possibly dealing with a difficult person because the King of Swords Reverse tends to be somebody that's almost very cold, calculating, vindictive, deceptive sometimes. Um, this could also be deception. So for example, you might be hiding something from someone, hiding the truth about what you want to do or what you desire from someone. But I feel like, um, a lot of you are, are what you, you already know what you want. And it, it's almost like whatever situation you're currently in, it just cements that for you. It's like the longer you're in this situation, the more you know what you want. Okay, so let's look at your person. The Magician Reverse, yikes. So they're not able to make something happen or manifest something. Um, have the Eight of Swords, so there could be fear or stuck energy. And the Five of Swords Reverse is typically a card about overcoming conflict. 
me um see if I can arrange this in a way that you can still see everything okay so okay interesting the magician reverse eight of swords so this is someone that's I feel like they're kept from making something happen here why is the magician reverse maybe they need uh to do something in the right time and that's why they have divine timing maybe it's not the right time for them to make something happen what's this magician doing here reverse what's the magician reverse about the sun can i get one more for the magician reverse two of wands so I get the sense of someone here trying to choose a path that leads to happiness, fulfillment. Yeah, five of cups. So this is someone that's uh, unhappy, having past regrets. There's the hermit at the bottom of the deck. Um, so either they're doing a lot of thinking about the past or they're doing a lot of thinking about you because that's your energy here, Virgo, with the hermit. It's almost like this person, um, they think about the past and maybe they want to make a different choice or... Uh, head down a different path altogether where they can achieve happiness tell me about the eight of swords why is the eight of swords here yeah ten of wands this person is really tied up maybe they have a lot of burdens obligations carrying a lot of uh weight on their shoulders responsibilities there's the three of cups again and the seven okay seven of wands so i feel like there is a third party situation here third party energy here there's um I, if this card the three of cups is not a card about reunion i feel it's because there's some some sort of obstacle in the form of another person with the seven of wands so I feel like both of you think about each other, but there's something in the way. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? There's the Hermit again. This person seeking answers, doing a bit of soul searching here with the Hermit. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Okay, King of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that wants to heal a situation, resolve some sort of problem. And they're, they're trying to think of a way to do this. But I don't see action on their part. It's almost like they're prevented from taking action, prevented from manifesting. Possibly because this requires a whole different approach or a whole different path that they have to take in their life. Can I get one more please for this Five of Swords reverse? Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Yeah, the Chariot, Cancer energy. I feel like this is somebody that wants to move forward, but yeah, the Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. But I think this is a waiting game for this person. They're waiting for the right time to make this move. Or waiting for um, some sort of confirmation. You know, like maybe they're waiting to hear something from you or, you know, I, I see them kind of thinking about this a lot with the hermit, thinking about how to overcome something, um, how to get around an obstacle. Yeah, there's the nine of swords so, and then the two of swords. So this is someone that I feel they're waiting before they make this decision. It's, uh, it's like they are hesitating, procrastinating, not sure. But that's what's necessary. That's why the Two of Swords is reversed here in the, the bottom of the deck energy or the overall energy. The Two of Swords is reversed because that's what's necessary. That's, what's, that would, that's what would drive change in this connection. Can we get some insight into what this person's thinking, feeling about Virgo? Can we get some insight? into how they're thinking, feeling when it comes to Virgo. It's all my fault. Bottom of the deck, I want to see you. 
I feel like they, that's probably part of like this energy with the chariot. Somebody that um, would love to make a move on you here. <laughs> Almost like they, they would love to come forward, basically. Um, but I think that there's a, there's a reason they haven't. And, and, I, and I feel it has a lot to do with timing and opportunity. Can I get some more energies, please, for the person that Virgo is dealing with spirit? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Virgo? What do we need to know? So yeah, the timing just wasn't right for us. Are you seeing this? This is about timing. There, the, the timing needs to be right for them to make this move that they clearly want to make. Um, I'm gonna grab a kipper as well. Can I get some insight into this person's energies, please? The person that Virgo is dealing with, can we get some insight into their energies? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? change number nine yeah so exactly what i've been saying i feel like this is someone that would love to have a change that would and i feel like this change is tied to this full energy um they would love for things to be different they would love for the right opportunity to come along for them to resolve whatever it is that they want to resolve with you um, but that would require that they make a big change in their life. I mean, that's just how it is sometimes. Especially with the Fool energy. Sometimes The Fool is a card tied to risks because it's not easy. Because you don't know how something's going to work out. You don't know where the path leads. You just know that you want to try something new, right? That's the Fool. And the Fool is sometimes, it's, it's a beautiful energy. But, you know, sometimes humans, you know, as a species, I guess, <laughs> it's hard for us to take leaps of faith like that, especially when we have so many other things to think about. But I feel like this person, you and them are kind of in the same boat where clearly you're not happy. You're not happy in your current situation. And it's almost like it's bringing you together. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, so you can see more readings from me, and I will see you in another video very soon. Take care.